My name is Kate Ho and I'm curating and turn at the Alpha Art Gallery and I'm sitting here with Judith Hummer. He's one of our artists in our upcoming 2019 Fall Watercolor and Mixed Media show. First, why don't you tell us about your background? Well, my art background, um, I was never formally trained in art. Um, I always loved art as a child and I really wanted to pursue it in college. But at the time, my guidance counselor um, told me a better avenue would be something else because you don't make any money in art. So I kept it as a hobby and I went into computer science. And that was great because the computers were booming at the time. I got a job, no problem. Uh, but I always had art on the background for me. And so um, I worked for a while, had children and everything. And then when I was home uh, with my children, I started to get back into art. and. Um, just studied locally with local watercolor artists and um, eventually wanted to pursue it as more of a career and I got more serious. So I took workshops and read books and everything. And you really have to paint like every day and practice and you will improve um, by doing that. But I have not had formal art training. So you're pretty much self-taught. Self-taught. Uh, actually, my daughter is an art educator. She went to college for art education, so she helps me. <laughs> she tells me when I'm like uh, when my perspective is off or something. Um, so she helps me a little. <laughs> nice. So, what has remained uh, inspirations? Any inspirations for your art? Um, I, I guess I'm inspired by all sorts of subjects. I, um, I love the city, I love New York, I love like the grungy, gritty part of New York. Um, I like all that and I also like things in nature. I love water, you know, I guess it's just whatever um, I find beautiful or interesting or an unusual subject and then I go to do that one. You know, that's my next one. Whatever you have passion in and you're passionate about is the one you should do next because that's gonna come out better, you know. So uh, it's always changing for me. Can you tell me about your art process from the thinking to the execution? Well, um, my, my methodology has changed over time. I've really become infatuated with um, this different paper called UPO paper. It's a um, plastic paper, it's polypropylene. It is non-porous, so um, are, you have a lot of freedom with it, um, but you all, and you don't have a lot of control a lot of times, um, but it really um, bodes well for creating great texture and interesting passages that you couldn't possibly get on a normal type of watercolor paper. And um, I find it very interesting to uh, challenge myself to get different effects and everything with it. Um, so it's really, really interesting. And you can wipe back to white, like you can lift up all, all that color there and go back to the white of the paper and do it over again if you had to. <laughs> and it looks like too, like that type of paper compared with a really colorful image on it and it really like stand, stand out. Right, it stands out. So the paint sits on top of the paper um, and so it doesn't soak in, so it allows the colors to be a little bit more vibrant, I would say. It bounces off the white. Um, it's pure white paper, so it bounces off pretty good. That kind of brings me to my next question. This is an exhibit coming up full of um, watercolor and mixed media uh, pieces. What would you say your experience has been like from like, the beginning? Because you mentioned watercolor before. What has your experience been like working with uh, watercolor and how differently it can be used to create such different uh, pictures and stories? Yeah, I, I, um, I love watercolor. I've done my whole life with just watercolor. I don't do acrylic or gouache or anything like that. And I still find it exciting and challenging. Um, and I'm learning things all the time. I like to use different um, materials from around the house to get a different effect. Like today, we were, I was teaching today, and we were doing um, stuff with wax paper. And interesting effects you can get using wax paper on the paper. And, um, you know, so it's just very inspirational to see what else I could try next or try to achieve a certain look or texture besides just a brush. Mm -hmm. yeah. And finally, what has interest you, interested you in the Alpha Art Gallery? Um, 
I've and actually, I haven't come to New Brunswick all that often. I've been around here a little bit, and it is a great gallery. It's in a great location, great space, and I was very happy uh, to see that they had a call out to watercolor artists and water media artists, um, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to try to get in a show here. You know, and I think it's a great thing, a nonprofit thing, where you guys get to um, learn the business portion of art and running shows and curating shows. It's a great experience for you, and it's good exposure for the artists. You know, it's nice work hand in hand. Yeah, you know. definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for interviewing, and if okay. you come to our fall watercolor show, you'll definitely get to see some some of Judy Hummer's very bright paintings. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks.